Scene script, have you ever wondered how to start eating healthy? Well, the first step is understanding the importance of nutritious food in our lives. Eating healthy is like fueling a car. The better the fuel, the smoother the ride. Our bodies work the same way. When we consume food that is rich in vitamins, minerals, and other necessary nutrients, we're equipping our bodies to perform at their best. This means not only physical well-being but mental and emotional health too. Now, there's a common misconception that eating healthy is all about dieting and weight loss. While it's true that a balanced diet can help maintain a healthy weight, it's not the sole purpose. Nutritious food helps in boosting our immune system, improving our mood, and even reducing the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes. It's not just about the numbers on the scale, but about leading a healthier and more active life. Another widespread myth is that healthy food is bland and boring. This couldn't be further from the truth. Nature has blessed us with an array of fruits, vegetables, grains, lean proteins, and dairy that are not only nutritious but delicious as well. The key is to explore and experiment with different ingredients and recipes. You'd be surprised at how a simple twist can transform a dish. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself of food you love, but about finding healthier alternatives and making mindful choices. The occasional treat is perfectly fine as long as it's in moderation. It's also important to note that everyone's body is unique and what works for one person may not work for another. Eating healthy isn't a one-size-fits-all approach, but rather a journey of discovering what your body needs to thrive. Above all, healthy eating is a lifestyle, not a temporary fix. It's about making consistent choices that contribute to your overall well-being. It requires a bit of effort, yes, but the rewards are well worth it. Eating healthy isn't just about losing weight, it's about feeling great and leading a balanced life. Before diving into what you should eat, it's crucial to understand your unique nutritional needs. Nutrition is about more than just eating, it's about nourishing your body with the right balance of nutrients. Let's break it down a little. There are two main types of nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are the big players in your diet and you probably recognize them as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Carbohydrates give you the energy to power through your day, while proteins are the building blocks of your body, helping to repair and grow tissues. Fats, on the other hand, are often misunderstood. Not all fats are bad for you. In fact, healthy fats, such as those found in avocados and fish, are essential for brain function and hormone production. Then, we have the micronutrients, the vitamins and minerals that are necessary for your body to function optimally. They are involved in every process from maintaining your immune system to ensuring your heart beats regularly. While it's important to understand these nutrients, it's equally important to realize that each person's nutritional needs are unique. Factors such as age, gender, activity level, and health status all play a role in determining what and how much you should eat. For instance, a young athlete may need more protein for muscle repair, while an older adult may require more calcium and vitamin D for bone health. Even within the same age and gender, nutritional needs can vary. A sedentary person may require fewer carbohydrates than an active one, and someone with a chronic illness may have different nutritional needs compared to someone in good health. It's a complex puzzle, but don't be overwhelmed. There are many resources available to help you understand your own nutritional needs, from registered dietitians to online tools and apps. Understanding your own nutritional needs is the first step towards a healthier diet. Making healthy food choices doesn't have to be complicated. Let's break it down into some simple principles. First off, let's talk about whole foods versus processed ones. Whole foods are those that have been minimally altered from their natural state. Think fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains. These foods are packed with nutrients that our bodies need to function optimally. On the flip side, we have processed foods. They often contain added sugars, unhealthy fats, and other additives that can be harmful to our health. So, whenever possible, try to fill your shopping cart with whole foods. Next, let's discuss the concept of a colorful plate. A colorful plate is one that includes fruits and vegetables of various colors. Each color represents different nutrients. For example, red and orange vegetables like tomatoes and carrots are rich in vitamin A, while dark leafy greens like spinach and kale are packed with iron and calcium. So, when you're planning your meals, aim for a rainbow of colors to ensure you're getting a wide range of nutrients. Now, let's move on to the topic of lean proteins. Proteins are essential for building and repairing tissues in our body. 
Lean proteins such as fish, poultry, and legumes are an excellent choice because they're lower in unhealthy fats compared to other sources of protein. Including a good source of lean protein in your meals will keep you feeling satisfied and help maintain your muscle mass. Finally, we can't talk about healthy food choices without mentioning portion control. It's not just about what you eat, but also about how much you eat. Even healthy foods can contribute to weight gain if you eat them in large quantities. So, pay attention to portion sizes and listen to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Remember, it's not just about what you eat, but also about how much you eat. Making healthy food choices is an important step in promoting overall health and well-being. It may seem challenging at first, but with practice and consistency, it can become second nature. Scene script. Planning ahead is a key to maintaining a healthy diet. Let's delve into this a bit more, shall we? First off, meal planning. It's not as daunting as it sounds. Start with a weekly plan, jotting down what you'd like to eat for your main meals and don't forget snacks. Consider your schedule for the week, Plan simpler meals for busier days and more elaborate dishes when you have the time. This way, you're less likely to resort to unhealthy fast food options when in a rush. Next up, grocery shopping. Make a list and stick to it. This helps prevent impulse buying of unhealthy snacks. Try to shop the perimeter of the store first. That's where you'll find fresh produce, lean proteins, and dairy products. The inner aisles often contain more processed, less healthy options. And remember, never shop on an empty stomach. Hunger can lead to poor food choices. On to meal prep. This can be a game changer. Dedicate a few hours each week to preparing your meals in advance. This might mean chopping vegetables, cooking grains or proteins, or even assembling full meals to refrigerate or freeze. Having meals ready to go can remove the temptation to order takeout on a busy day. Plus, it saves time and reduces stress during the week. Now, let's talk about the joy of home-cooked meals. Preparing your own meals allows you to control the ingredients, portion sizes, and overall nutritional content. You can make healthier versions of your favorite dishes by substituting ingredients. Love fried chicken? Try baking it instead. Craving pasta? Use whole grain noodles and load up on veggies. The possibilities are endless. In conclusion, planning and preparing your meals in advance can make healthy eating much more manageable. It takes a little effort and organization, but the benefits to your health and well-being are worth it. Remember, it's not about perfection, but progress. With a little planning and prep, you can enjoy healthy meals that not only taste good, but are good for you. Eating healthy is a journey, not a destination. This is a mantra we should all keep in mind. Consistency is the secret sauce to maintaining a healthy diet. It's not about making a drastic change overnight, but rather it's about making small, manageable changes that we can stick to over the long term. Staying motivated can be a challenge, especially when those old cravings kick in. Here's a tip, don't deny yourself completely. If you love chocolate, for instance, instead of reaching for that candy bar, why not try a piece of dark chocolate? It's all about finding healthier alternatives that still satisfy your cravings. Another important aspect of staying motivated is to set realistic goals. Instead of aiming to lose 10 pounds in a week, which is not only unrealistic but also unhealthy, Set a goal to eat more fruits and vegetables, or to cut out processed foods. These are achievable goals that will lead to noticeable changes in your health and well-being. Remember that setbacks are part of the journey. So if you find yourself falling off the wagon, don't beat yourself up. Instead, acknowledge the slip-up and move on. Keep your eyes on the long-term goal and remember why you started this journey in the first place. Making healthy eating a part of your lifestyle is the ultimate goal. This means incorporating healthy choices into your daily routine until they become second nature. Start by making small changes, like swapping out your morning bagel for a bowl of oatmeal, or trading your afternoon soda for a refreshing glass of water. Over time, these small changes will add up to big results. Above all, remember that the journey to healthy eating is a personal one. What works for one person may not work for another. So listen to your body and find what works best for you. And most importantly, be patient. Change takes time. Remember the goal is progress, not perfection. So start your journey towards healthy eating today.